I've been kidnapped. Interesting facts about famous people. Rare, brutal westerns. Avoiding the obvious, brutal, violent westerns today. The likes of The Good, The Bad and The Ugly, Django Unchained, Unforgiven, The Wild Bunch, etc. Let's take a look at some of the lesser known, but also brutal westerns. These also deserve your eyeballs. Let me know what's missing here. Love to know what you think. If you enjoy this video, hit the notification button to get my new videos. Head over to my channel if you want to check out my many, many other videos. The link is in the description. Please take a moment to like and subscribe to the channel as well. I do appreciate it. Let's get into it. Track of the Cat, 1954. Director, William A. Wellman. Around the turn of the 20th century, during a harsh Northern California winter, members of a ranching family are squabbling amongst themselves, while the two oldest sons go hunting for a panther that is killing their livestock. One of the producers on this one was John Wayne. Robert Mitchum says the snowy location scenes were the hardest he had ever filmed. Wellman later said it had been a mistake not to show the cougar at all in the film. Wellman had always intended to direct what he described as a black and white movie in colour. Stars Robert Mitchum, Teresa Wright, Diane Lynn, Tab Hunter. Telling you how it's going to be. How is it going to be? If it wasn't for me, there wouldn't be any valley. Wouldn't be any stock. The cats would have it all. Indians would have it. You'd have given it back to them a long time ago. Django Kill, If You Live, Shoot, 1967. Director, Giulio Questi. Various factions, including a half-breed bandit, a gang of homosexual cowboys and a priest, feud over stolen gold in a surreal town. The producers decided to release the movie internationally as Django Kill to take advantage of the success of a prior release, Django 1966, starring Franco Nero. In reality, Django had nothing to do with C.C. Vivo Sparta. Stars Thomas Milan, Marilo Tolo, Piero Luli, Milo Questada. Four of the Apocalypse, 1975. Director, Lucio Fulci. Four petty criminals, three men and a woman, wander through the trackless terrain of the Wild West, Utah, and are hounded by a sadistic bandit. Thomas Milan patterned his portrayal of Chaco on Charles Manson. Lynn Frederick shed real tears in her crying scene with Fabio Testi. Thomas Milan was so in character during the scene where he raped Lynn Frederick that he actually made Fabio Testi quite enraged. The anger on Testi's face in the film is real. Stars Fabio Testi, Lynn Frederick, Michael J. Pollard, Harry Baird. This is the second time, I swear it. The Hunting Party, 1971. Director, Don Medford. A ruthless rancher and his gang use extremely long-range rifles to kill the men who kidnapped his infidel wife. 
This is the second West in, in as many years for Candace Bergen, which has a reputation for extreme brutality. The other was Soldier Blue, 1970, released the year before. Only film to star both Oliver Reed and Gene Hackman. Stars Oliver Reed, Candace Bergen, Gene Hackman, Simon Oakland. Close enough. To stay out of sight. Let her go. You get rid of her, I will. Let her go. It doesn't make sense anymore. Frank. Malcolm's gonna ride back and find that man, and tell him he can have the woman. <laughs> The Last Hard Men, 1976, director Andrew V. McLaughlin. In 1907 Arizona, retired lawman Sam Brigade's life is thrown upside down when his old enemy, Zach Provo, and six other convicts escape a chain gang in the Yuma Territorial Prison and come gunning for Brigade. James Coburn recalled, It was very hard to justify my character's vendetta with Charlton Heston. He had no redeeming qualities. He was just out for revenge. Director Andrew V. McLaughlin knows how to go out, shoot a film, and get it done. That's about all. He's another director for hire. Stars Charlton Heston, James Coburn, Barbara Hershey, Jorge Rivero. Back in time. Vengeance becomes a brutal scene played before a helpless father, and everyone's life hangs in the balance. Let me shoot. What about Susan? Two men chasing each other, fighting against the reality of time, living by the old rules, dueling to the death, driven by revenge. Sukiyaki Western Django, 2007. Director Tashaki Miki, a nameless gunfighter, arrives in a town ripped apart by rival gangs and, though courted by both to join, chooses his own path. Quentin Tarantino's mechanical wheelchair has a duck hood ornament on one of the arms, the same hood ornament as on Stuntman Mike's car in Death Proof 2007, directed by Tarantino. Stars Hideki Ito, Koichi Sato, Quentin Tarantino, Yuzuki Isiya. Not too shabby. Is all about goodbyes. Takashi Miike's English language map. Mad Dog Morgan, 1976. Director, Philippe Mora. The true story of Irish outlaw Daniel Morgan, who is wanted, dead or alive, in Australia during the 1850s. David Gulpalil went walkabout during the middle of production to ask the trees about Dennis Hopper. Reportedly, the trees told Gulpalil that Hopper was crazy. Hopper visited Daniel Morgan's grave right after finishing the film and got drunk at the gravesite. He was arrested by the Victorian police and placed on the first plane back to Hollywood. Dennis Hopper had described this movie as one of his great life experiences. Stars Dennis Hopper, Jack Thompson, David Gulpilil, Frank Thring. A senior officer here. I assume command of this situation. Excuse Morgan. Ferociously violent. Given your pound. Only for one reason, that I may have to take it back from you someday. Was he a monster or a martyr? A ruthless bandit? 
or a rebel hero. Outwitting, outriding, outgunning, an army of police. The Deadly Tracker, 1973. Directors, Barry Shear, Samuel Fuller. A sheriff who negotiates with bank robbers ends up getting his family killed during their escape. The sheriff chases the gang into Mexico on his own. While attempting to extract his vengeance, he is at odds with a Mexican lawman. In its original incarnation, Samuel Fuller had lined up Juliet Berto and Mick Jagger. Jim Morrison of The Doors was also lobbying for a role in the film, but was turned down by Fuller. When Samuel Fuller was going to direct, he wanted Terence Stamp for the Rod Taylor part. Screenwriter Lucas Heller designed the finished product. Stars Richard Harris, Rod Taylor, Al Lettieri, Neville Brand. Where's Brand? Don't shoot. <laughs> Where's Brand? San Jose. You're a liar. No, I'm not. It's San Jose. Ah! 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 Oh, help me, man! Help me! For God's sake, help me! Where's Brand? San Jose. Why San Jose? He's got a girl there. He's got a girl there. I'm I'm sorry about your kid. Outlaws and Angels, 2016, director J.T. Molina. When outlaws on the lam invade the home of an unsuspecting, seemingly innocent frontier family to hide out for the night, an unexpected game of cat and mouse ensues, leading to seduction, role reversal, and ultimately, bloody revenge. Francis Fisher and Francesca Eastwood are mother and daughter, her father being Clint Eastwood. This film's tagline, Sooner or later, we all get what's coming, evokes Clint Eastwood's famous line in 1992's Unforgiven, We All Got It Coming, Kid, stars Francis Fisher, Chad Michael Murray, Luke Wilson, Terry Polo. Sounds to me like he done bamboozled. Just tell this man we need you. You, you tell him you can't go. Move it, Mom, unless you want to get sprayed. Guns and Guts, 1974. Director, René Cardona Jr. A hired gun wants to complete his last big job, killing a sheriff who hides away inside an old monastery, so he can retire with a prostitute. Watch this movie to take advantage of a rare opportunity to see Zulma Fayad. She plays the prostitute girlfriend of the character played by Jorge Rivero. She was possibly the most exotic and sexy woman on earth. The movie was okay. Stars Jorge Rivero, Pedro Amandaris Jr., Rogelio Guerrera, Selma Faid. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think in the comments. I appreciate your likes and subscribers. Hit the notification button to get my new videos. Take a look at my channel and check out my Facebook page. The links are in the description. I am Wrangler. Bye for now. See you again soon. Interesting facts about famous people.